Recently, I posted a video of me turning a bowl out of a piece of horse chestnut, bit of firewood, and the video went down really well. I got lots of positive comments, but one thing people did say is that they would like to have seen me narrate the video. So what I'm going to do is I've got another piece of horse chestnut here. I'm going to recreate the bowl that I made, probably a slightly different shape perhaps, and, uh, and talk through what I'm going to be doing at the same time. So I hope you enjoy this one as well. Tighten that down and just screw that down tight so that that touches the base. This piece is really unbalanced at the moment, so we've got it on a really low speed. Lowest this goes down to is 430. So we'll turn it that to take off the edges and then we can gradually increase as we go through. Okay, you can see how the corners are coming off now and that big bit there that's sticking out has come off. I did speed up the lathe and as you can see it does get a bit easier. What I'm going to do now is just keep going with this until this is a little bit more rounded and then take off the bottom so that's nice and flat ready for our tenon. Okay, we've actually lost our grip with the worm screw there into that hole, so we're going to switch that to a faceplate and, uh, and we'll get it back on the lathe. I've just upped the speed again, and I'm just going to start to take this base down now to a flat surface, get this flattened up. What I'm going to do now is just turn this completely round and then we've got the shape that we're going to work with. Okay, so what we can see now is the shape of a bowl is completely round there. We've got rid of all the bark. So we now know what kind of shape we've got to work with. What I'm going to do now is turn that tenon down to the right size and just shape that shoulder a little bit more. And then we can decide what shape we want this bowl to be.
We're down to quite a good shape on the bowl now. We've got the tenon, we've got the foot, we've got a nice bowl shaped. What I will do now is sand this down through the grits, 80 through to 240, then hit it with some sanding sealer and some true grit to get a really good shiny finish on there. Then we will reverse it and then hollow out and do the same to the inside. I've now sanded through the grits and it's looking quite nice. So the next job, I'm just going to clean out all the pores with some methylated spirits, denatured alcohol. Give it some sanding sealer. We need to put this on before we do the true grit so that the grain doesn't suck in all of that wax paste. This is cellulose based so it does dry fairly quickly but we'll give it five minutes and then we'll go in with some true grit. All you need to do is apply the true grit with a paper towel and then you set the lathe to a very low speed and work it into it until you can't feel any more of the sand or any of the grit within the uh, in the paste. Once you're satisfied that it's all worked in and there's no residue left you can then turn the lathe speed up and burnish at a slightly higher speed to give it a bit of a sheen. Okay, it's looking really good so far. So we'll turn this around so it's held by the tenon and then we'll start to hollow the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is square off the face of this and start to work on the shape of the lip. Anybody that knows the channel will know that I like a sloped down lip so uh, I might do that and see how it goes. So what I did there was just hollowed out the bulk of the material using the bowl gouge. Then I just took out the sides with the carbide scrape of a square one and just gone in with the, the round one just to start uh, shaping some of the interior edges. Still got a little bit to go. Depth wise, there's still probably be a good inch or so at the bottom. So I'm gonna take it a bit deeper. I want these walls to be a bit narrower Something I did learn the other day when you're using your carbide scrapers in there is to angle them. It stops pretty much all of the catches and creates a bit of a nicer shear cut finish. So, um, so I'm going to continue doing that and then I'll come back to you in a sec.
What I'm going to do now is just slope back that rim and then we'll start to sand out the inside of that and then do the same as we did before and do the true grit and, uh, and we should be good to go. So we've now hollowed out, sanded, true grit, and got that to a nice finish and a nice sheen in there. We're not far off finished, just need to turn this around onto the button jaws, take off the tenon, tidy up the foot, and we're done. The bowl's now reversed into the button jaws. I'm gonna take off the tenon, tidy up the foot, sand it, and then we'll be done. And there we go, there's the final result. A little horse chestnut piece of firewood that we've turned into a bowl. As you can see, there's quite a bit of discoloration in the wood. I think this was sat out in the, in the wet for a long time. There's also a crack in the bowl there. This isn't a presentation piece by any standard. This is just a, uh, a rough bowl that I've turned just to show you the process that I go through when creating a bowl. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to see some of my past and future videos. Also, if you leave a comment on this video, you'll be entered into a draw to win a piece that I make for our 500th subscriber milestone. Thanks for watching.